Hey guys, Anthony here. I'm creating a series of short videos that explain to you tips. In this video, I'm going to share with you a quick tip that you'll hopefully find useful. Let me start off by showing you how to duplicate elements on the timeline. So I've already got a project open. Let me create a scene and add a text box by clicking Add Text at the bottom right here. I'm just going to change the text. I'll call it bullet point number one. And then I'll just change the font as well. I'll increase the size of this bullet point or the text box. Just place it right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an animation. So I'll do that right here. I'll just drop down this text box and then click in this area right here and choose text by letter. I'll choose slide from left. And now let's just say I want to create two similar bullet points. It's just going to read bullet point number two and bullet point number three. And essentially it's going to use the same font, the size, as well as the animation. So rather than actually repeating the whole process all over again two more times, I can use this duplicate button to duplicate this text box with the text font and the animation. So once I click this button, you'll see that it creates a duplicate text box right here. And let me just increase the timeline. And if I drop down the text box, you see it's exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this duplicate button once again, and you'll see it created another one. So I've got three bullet points now. Let me just reduce the size of the timeline. And you'll see that I've got the bullet points right here. So all I got to do now is essentially just change this one to 2 and this one to 3. Obviously this is just an example, but uh, hopefully you get the point. And if I close the canvas, you'll see that they animate all at the same time. But of course, if you want to change that, you can change the these bars on the timeline. Let me just move this in front right here. And if I place, if I just move this along the timeline, like so, and do a quick preview, you will see that they animate in sequence. But as you can see, the whole point of this um, video was to just show you how to use that duplicate button to duplicate any element that you have on the timeline. And it can be very handy. Check this video if you want to learn how to duplicate a whole scene. Well, hope you found this Explain Your Tip helpful. Look for more short videos on Explain Your Tips. Thanks for watching.